Yo guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been posting lately, but life has been crazy. <sighs> And that's why I decided to make this video, to share what I actually experienced, what I learned and inspire you guys. Right now I'm in my boss's apartment. He bought it to me. Thank you boss, you are the best. But I have actually been living in my car for the last week here in uh, Copenhagen. And many really, really irritating bad things happened, but I got through it, I learned from it and now we're good. So this is the vi what the video is about. And I also want to remind you guys that I'm leaving Denmark very soon and I'm gonna drive all the way down to Greece with my van through Europe and it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be crazy I'm, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So subscribe if you haven't already because many interesting things are coming and I'm really excited <laughs> as you can see. Let's get to the video. <laughs> I just bought a fucking van. I can't believe this. So, for you guys who don't know, I quit my job and my studies to pursue my dream of being an influencer, traveling and training around the world in my van. I came to Denmark to close the chapter, get my van, and just move on in my life. Without a place to stay and a little money, I decided to just give me. The van a try. Without converting anything but just throwing all of my belongings in it, I went straight to the beach to organize the inside so I could stay and have my space. At the beginning there was a lot of adjustments to make. This is uh, the inside of the van right now. Uh, I know it's still messy but it's a bed so I can sleep and relax. And I just bought these that this gift paper. I'm gonna cover the windows so people just don't walk by and look in. And this is the first nice first night in the van. <laughs> I'm scared, excited, uh, and happy. I'm trying new things with my life, I guess. <laughs> okay, lesson number one. <laughs> I'm telling you this with a smile right now, but trust me, I wasn't smiling at all this time when it happened. But when my car broke down the first time, I felt like totally lonely. Nobody could help me. This was on me and I had to find a solution to the problem. I was ready to go and make some food, sleep in the car and get ready for a big day tomorrow because I'm starting working on a summer camp where I have to teach and be relaxed and ready and focused and the car won't start. I feel helpless, alone and everything against me. This is where I'm gonna sleep tonight and this is where I'm, I'm gonna teach tomorrow and for the whole week. Think of the worst case scenario, try to accept that and try to not see the whole problem as it is but take a problem and slice it down to pieces and take one small problem of the big problem and solve it one at a time. It's much more convincing when you are dealing with one problem at a time. I know that this is like a non-brainer, you could think of this by yourself, but are you actually doing it when shit happens? Because I, I wasn't. And I'm glad that uh, somebody slapped me hard in the face so I actually could learn it and realize that that's how I should deal with my problem from now on. So that's from the bottom, the bottom of my heart to you guys. Take it easy, see the worst case scenario, take it in pieces. I don't know why I did that. Stolen wallet. Yes, it happened and I'm not proud. Bad news. Being in a foreign country with no ID, no driving license and no bank cards sucks. Sucks hard time. Uh, because I couldn't move my car. If I got stopped, I couldn't identify myself. And I didn't have any money. Like, literally. I had to borrow from friends that luckily could help me. So, at the beginning, this really felt like the end of the world. But it's not. Okay? It's material stuff that you can lose. And after some hours, I just came to the conclusion that it's not worth it. It's not worth wasting energy and get stressed about material things. Any material thing. If it's a camera, or if it's a car, or if it's a wallet, 
fuck it. It's a bump in the road and you just have to find another way around it. It will take some more time than planned, but you will get there. And that's what I did. So I started calling the police, the Greek agency, uh, to some other... Uh, I to oh my god, I made so many phone calls. But I did it. I ordered a passport now, I have an uh, ID, a driving license. And that was a, a really good challenge. Damn boy, I got, I got stressed. I'm only filming myself right now to not go crazy. I emptied my van with all of my stuff um, and I can find my wallet with everything necessary for me to travel and stay in Denmark. Uh, so now I'm broke, I can't leave this country, I'm alone, I really don't enjoy my time here anymore keep having positive thoughts but this is this is a hard challenge i feel dead inside but i got over it and i'm one step stronger now in my mind and so any problem appearing in front of you try to see the bright side and Take it as a chance to actually get good at problem solving. That's how I like to look at it. I'm not saying you should too, but it works for me. And I'm grateful that I experienced all this stuff. I mean, <laughs> I know it's all negative stuff that happened to me and sucked at that time. But right now, right now, I feel great. I feel great that I came through this barrier and I'm a better version of myself. All this happened in a week. There's more... Isn't it nice how I change angles? Huh? Okay. One question. Have you ever felt lonely? Even though you were surrounded by many people and friends or family? Hmm? Well, that's how I felt these day, days by living in the van. I really don't feel like doing anything today. It was hard in the beginning. It's really scary in the beginning because what we are used to do and what I'm used to do is as soon as I feel lonely or I get bored do you know that word yeah the first thing we do take up our phone start scrolling through Facebook and Instagram or whatever just to distract our minds from what we actually are experiencing because when we are lonely it's only us and our thoughts battling together right so I was battling with my own thoughts I was talking myself crazy but I decided not to avoid it not to take the the quick solution and just pick up the phone or watch another YouTube video by the way thanks for watching my video subscribe like and leave a thumbs up in the comment section <laughs> but that's what it is right we are trying to avoid a problem or a job that we need to get done or some studies right so I decided to face myself face who the hell I really am learn my weaknesses my strengths and get good friends with myself because what we tend to do is as soon as we realize we have a problem we pack it away throw it in the room close the door and run away but when you do that many times that room will get filled up and when there's no more space you're gonna ra run like a mother like this <laughs> I didn't know my voice could get so high <laughs> that's how you would run okay so why not avoid that by managing to be friends with yourself love yourself you can love others too if you don't look inside first you can't do anything outside of yourself deep stuff here i hope you understand it if not i need to get better at this tell me in the comment section if this is helping it helped me anyway so except for the thinking and um, that i just 
shared with you around all the problems that I faced. What did I actually do? Well, I used my strengths. For example, my strengths when I get stressed or I get caught up in a situation where I really panic or don't know how to get out of it, I do something I enjoy doing. For example, training. I did a lot of it. Because it takes my mind off of things, it fills my body up with endorphins that makes me happy, and when I come back from my training, I look at things differently. It helps a lot. No more. I'm not gonna add any, anything more to that. And meditation. Try it, okay? I was making fun of it in the beginning, but try to meditate 10 minutes a day in the morning. As soon as you wake up, do it. The first thing. Maybe you can pee first, but seriously, try it. You can download the app Headspace. That's a really good way to get started. And... Socializing. <laughs> Meet with people. We are social human beings. We need to be surrounded by others. Okay, we can't just go in a cave and never talk to anybody. We're not made to survive like that. Well, we will survive, but it won't be nice anyway. So what I did, for example, was to call my friend, good friend Eider, who have always been there for me and I love him like a brother. Hope you're good, my friend. Can't wait to see you in group. Uh, and he came over and we longboarded and did a lot of fun stuff. Uh, and that was the day I lost my wallet and I was really not feeling quite well. Well, I've been better. But uh, that was one of the best days, actually. Thank you so much for watching, that's the video, if you liked it subscribe because there's like a lot of nice things coming and follow me on Instagram, I will post so many stories from my Euro trip and I really enjoy pay taking pictures so maybe see you there, <laughs> otherwise see you in the next video and have an awesome day people!